Drone operators of the 73rd Brigade of the Naval Center under the Ukrainian Special Operations Forces have intercepted a Russian army base in a forest area in the occupied part of southern Kherson region. Information about the area with armored combat vehicles, dugouts, ground structures, and fortifications was transferred to the Rocket Artillery Division of the Special Operations Forces. As a result of continuous fire launched by the US-provided HIMARS rocket-propelled grenade system, military equipment and military trucks, armored personnel carriers and other structures in the area were destroyed by explosions. Most of the Russian soldiers in the position were killed, and the survivors fled the area. Located on the right bank of Dnipro River, Karen has become Russia's target since the start of full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. Situation around Ukraine is leading to World War III. Biden doesn't even know what to say. Trump. The situation around Ukraine is on the path of escalation and could lead the world to a new world war, says former U.S. President Donald Trump. On Fox News, the politician expressed great concern about Ukrainian strikes on Russian territory and talk about the possible use of nuclear weapons. We are closer to World War III. Look what's happened in the last few days. Ukraine is now talking about strikes on Russia and President Putin is talking about nuclear weapons, declared Trump. He also noted that in such a difficult situation for the world, the current owner of the White House, Joe Biden, doesn't even know what to say. The 45th American president reaffirmed his position regarding the Ukrainian conflict. I will resolve the situation around Ukraine and resolve it quickly. This would never have happened assured the politician. Donald Trump served as President of the United States from 2017 to 2021. He was then replaced by Democrat Joe Biden, to whom he lost the election, but the defeat looked fabricated. This November, the next presidential election is due to take place in the United States, in which Trump and Biden will obviously compete again. At present, Ukraine can now use US weapons to strike at targets inside Russia. That permission comes with numerous asterisks. The targets are geographically restricted to the northeast region across the border from Kharkiv, for instance, and Ukraine has only received the go-ahead to use short-range missiles. Other Ukrainian allies are less cautious. The Netherlands has authorized Ukraine to use its recently delivered F-16 fighter jets to strike pretty much any military target inside Russia. France is considering the dispatch of military trainers to Ukrainian territory. This relaxation of restrictions has prompted yet another series of threats from the Kremlin that it will attack NATO directly or use tactical nuclear weapons within Ukraine. Yet, it is precisely because Russia has made these threats repeatedly and not followed through on them that has made it easier for Ukraine's allies to cross the purported red lines and supply ever more offensive weapons. Russia has been brazen and incautious in many ways, invading Ukraine in the first place, committing widespread war crimes and throwing wave after wave of infantry into the line of fire with its meat grinder tactics but it has also been fundamentally cautious by not directly engaging NATO forces, escalating the current conflict beyond Ukraine's borders, or introducing nuclear weapons onto the battlefield. Russia threatens strikes on French instructors in Ukraine, Paris promises response. Russia threatens that French instructors will become legitimate targets if they are sent to Ukraine. Such statements will not go unanswered, according to BFM TV. On June the 4th, the spokesman for the Russian embassy in France, Alexander Makogonov, 
made scandalous remarks about Paris. If you send your soldiers, your experts, your instructors to Ukrainian soil to teach Ukrainian soldiers how to better target and kill Russians, they will naturally become a legitimate target, Mark Ogonov said. French response Christophe Lemoyne, the deputy spokesperson for the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs, has already responded to these threats. These are outrageous statements that will not go unanswered, he promised. According to him, the response to Russia is still under discussion. Previously, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, revealed plans for France to send military instructors to Ukraine. These instructors will train Ukrainian soldiers. In France, commenting on the Ukrainian general's statements, it was emphasized that the issue of sending instructors is still under discussion and a final decision has not yet been made. The New York Times reported that NATO allies are indeed discussing the deployment of troops to Ukraine. However, they intend to do this not for participation in combat operations, but for training Ukrainian defenders. According to journalists, Ukraine has asked Western allies to help train 150,000 soldiers. Officially, the United States has not supported this idea, but the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Charles Brown, considers this process inevitable. Brown stated that potentially deployed NATO instructors in Ukraine could be at risk, so to protect them, it would be necessary to use air defense systems that Ukraine could use near the battlefield. At the same time, the White House refuses to send even instructors to Ukraine and urges its NATO allies to follow suit.